What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Derail Valley the Overhaul Update. So we are going to do our first train. So I did a mission where um, I've done a couple of shunting missions. So right here you have your different types. And I did a couple of shunting missions which set up your freight haul missions. So I've got two trains ready to go over to the goods factory for a total of like 15, almost $16,000. So we are going to take two trains at once and set that down right there. Take this guy. Denied. Why are we denied? I only have one. Oh. Okay. Okay. So licenses. Uh, concurrent jobs. Ten grand. There we go. Purchase. In order to buy a license, you must clear all your fees. Crap. Uh, let's go back. Fees. The fees. You're insured. Pay only. Okay. Um. Really? I owe that much? Okay. What should I pay? Should I pay five grand? I, I don't know. I don't know. So look at the wallet. So we still have fifteen grand. I guess I don't have any more fees. I don't know. Don't know. Vehicle service penalty. You can save money on this fee by doing it manually. Press confirm to continue or cancel to go back. Pay is smaller than the fee, so you'll only be charged a copay. Press any key to continue. Confirm. Oh, insert wallet to pay. Okay. Uh, insert. Oh, that's rough. Put that away. No more fees. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Go back. Licenses. Current jobs. Confirm. Pay for it. Oh, talk about taking all the money. All right, so now I own this. Let's go ahead and put that in my tab. Boom. Okay, let's tap that. Let's tap this. And we will put these down and take a look to see what they are, where I have to pick them up. So B1, that's right where I'm at. Um, yeah, so number five, we're going to pick that up, B1. So, B1, I need only three, and so I need 343 to 351, and 321 to 23. Oh, what is this one? 23, I know I need this. So we and hook this guy up like that. That don't forget to couple that. Release the brakes. Okay, so there's that one. And then forty three to three fifty one. So I need these guys too. So I've obviously got to close a gap here. So let's put our missions out again. Don't care about that. Five. Okay. So let's start the engine. Facing the right way. Release the brake. On forward. I'm hoping this is not considered a long train now. I don't know at what point it's considered a long train. Go ahead and come on over here and couple these. Is this it? 
no, nope, that's already coupled. It's right here, which is not not quite close enough. Get back up here. The brake. I have to ease forward a little bit. Don't know if that's quite good enough. To be right here. There we go. Hook that up. Couple it together. That. Like that. And like that. Okay. So now we need to throw it in reverse. It's the brake. Be on our way. Oh man, it's a heavy train. So while we wait on that to get moving, good factory town. I did select the same too, right? Oh, my, where's my map? World map is number two. Okay, yeah, so we have to go all the way up to the back right. Shouldn't be too terribly bad. So we will get this, this show on the road and uh, check back about the unloading stage. Okay, so we still have a long ways to go, but I did flip the pages to look to see what goes where. So three of these cars go to track number five, three of them go to track number six. We have to uh, make sure this guy is facing the right way. Okay, now it is. Speed limit is 50, I believe is what I just said. Let's go ahead and switch this over to, where are we going, GF. So on the bottom, you can see where it says GF. Alright. Wow. So we're coming in from the southwest. We need to go to D5 and D6. So we have to go all the way in through B, through C. Or before C, we will go down. Then we will back into D. Be complicated. So, okay, keep an eye. All right, so speed limit 70 through here, going downhill, um, downward slope on the bottom symbol, which when you do the tutorial, oh, you gotta back it off a notch. When you do the tutorial, it teaches you what all these signs mean. So now that's gonna be a level um, planes. Speed limit's still gonna be 70, which we are pushing 55, because momentum, you know. Don't you fall down. Oh, oh. See them, it's 100. We're at 55. So you have to keep an eye on uh, your speed limit, your grade, any signs. So it's going to be dropping down to 90, it looks like. Dropping down to 70, and you got a curve there. We're pushing 55. We're going to go ahead and Give it a little bit of break. Okay, that speeds right back up. I don't think I really even slowed down much. Oh yeah, I brought it down to 40. And... All of our signs are good. Temperature is good. Brake's good. Everything. Fuel is good. So, at, I know there's one junction up here that we have to we have to swap over. Get the map, which you can actually press escape and pull up the map that way. You can see the little blue arrow there as to where we're at. So we got a tight sharp turn to the right, followed by a sharp turn to the left. And we got a junction which we need to veer right on. Uh, put the map away check out our speed which is dropping which you don't want to lose your momentum but you don't want to have too much oh there we 
go. All right, we are going to fast forward to a little bit closer. Okay, so we are coming through the S curve now. We made it to the first turn, now we're coming up to the second. Speed limit of 70, I just increased our speed. So now we're pushing 40. No great change, so we're still flat ground. That's good. Now if we were going downhill, I would definitely be kicking this down a notch. We're still doing okay. Doing all right. Hanging in there. But we do have this junction coming up here pretty soon, which is always fun to swap while moving because if you miss it, oh man, if you miss it, it sucks. Cause then you got to stop, back all the way up, hit the junction right. It's a mess. So it should be just around this corner. Should start to be able to see it. It, should, it looks like we're going to start going downhill. Uh, speed limit's 80 now. But we're going to be making that turn, so I'm going to back it down. See it. There's another speed limit sign. What does that say? 80. Okay. 50 with the Y. We're at 40. Let's go ahead and back it down another notch because if I hit this at the speed that I'm going, that's going to stink. Oh, there it is. 40 to go to the right. We're pushing 35. Okay. Keep an eye on our track, or our cars here. We're hanging in there okay. Right. Doing okay. We will let off the brake. That dropped us down to 30 miles an hour, 30 kilometers an hour. Okay, so now we have a uphill. We're going to increase it. Check the map. So we're not too far out, probably another 10 minutes or so. So we'll get a little bit closer here. Okay, so one thing I forgot about is that this little shunting drain is not meant for hauling. And now my temperature gauge is increasing. And if you get it maxed out, it really starts to cause some damage. So we've got it back down just kind of staying in the yellow, but we're only cruising at 15 miles an hour, 15 kilometers an hour. And we still have a little ways to go, and I'm pretty sure we're going uphill. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> I know one thing that they said is that um, if you've got a front radiator on, on your train, to make sure that you are facing the right way, which I think my radiator's on the back here, so I should have turned this train around. But that would have taken a little while to do. Uh, so 50. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the speed, but drop it down. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, buddy. Here we go. So we're coming in. Coming in. Um, need to stay to the right here. And then when we get through, we go to the right again. Down. And we'll back into D. Okay, so we are, we're here. We're hurting. We're cruising at 15. So we're going to get a little bit further in. And uh, see if we can't mess this up somehow. Okay, so now we are in the zone. Just have to get this train to stop as it circles back around. Okay, come back here. We will move these guys. That needs to go to the left, that needs to go to the left. We have to go to track number five first, which is this one. So turn that guy there. We'll drop five off or three there. That one there, okay. Alright, so 
Now we just have to throw this train in reverse. Make sure that all these are facing the right way. That's the right way. Way. This needs to go to the left, which I believe it is. Yep. Okay, so now we just need to get back on the train and back it up. One thing you'll notice is that um, <coughs> with the longer trains, which I've only got six cars, but with the longer trains, it's going to be incredibly difficult to see where you're going, making sure you're going down the right track. But with six cars already, it's pretty difficult to tell. So I just have to get it far enough into track number five for those first three cars to be out of my way. And I can decouple them, pull forward, swap the little sign there and then back into number six and then I just have to run over to the um, train station itself make sure that I validate my jobs that's three one two three three forty three this guy okay you can you can stop rolling now okay all right all right okay we're good so now you do that 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 okay so now those are oh, there we go those three are detached here break going now we're gonna go down that track you just have to make sure you don't forget your jobs whenever you go over to the station or else you uh, have nothing there to validate and I would be speaking from experience. I've done that plenty of times. Which this one has quite a bit of a long, uh, long run to get to where you need to go to validate them. So, but if you don't get it far enough in, which there, I believe this is your line. So it has to be past the track five sign. So this side I need to be past track six sign. Go ahead and start hitting brakes. Okay, so we're clear the sign. Perfect. Good enough. Okay. Right. Okay, so I didn't realize that my record has stopped. So I have validated these two. And we got the bonus on both of them. <laughs> Zero damage. So for this one, we got 31 minutes. We got it done at 29. Base pay was 7,700. We got a bonus of 38,000 or 3,800 sorry this one we had a bonus of four grand for the time bonus so yeah if you can get that time bonus done which this one we only beat by two minutes no I think that one was by two minutes at yeah, 29 to 31 so we just barely had it done barely had it done so try to get your uh get your time bonus done and you make a lot more money it's like 50 percent more so definitely want to focus on that come on stand up there we go now we're done with these toss them in the trash and voila all right so that was my first haul we are now up in the goods factory we'll do some shunting jobs I'm going to sort through all these and see what I can come up with for next time. All right, guys. Hope you liked it. And uh, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. Later.